pretty interesting discussion. Why the trust scheme came into force, how the trust, uh, in fact, in 1996, uh, one big group, corporate group with over 100 companies has set up a trust. Correct. Uh, and and that was, let us know. Yes. I didn't want to. Take so in night and the money with from all those trust companies or the group companies will come in the trust and then they will distribute and give it to different parties. The idea behind the trust was that you the trust may be of five or more than five. The money will come into the trust. The trust will then distribute the money. So nobody knows you, the companies will give instructions to the trust to give to A, B or C party. But nobody knows which company has given that money. But what happened was 2013 scheme of the election commission made it mandatory to disclose which party, which company is directed to give the payment. So that scheme virtually failed because of that. It had a contrary impact. Yes, but but, but still, as a matter that's of a, that's that's a, somebody's point of view. I'm not saying that's a right point of view or wrong point of view. No, correct, Malod, But as a matter of fact, Malod, we uh, Malod, the trust scheme still continues. One can have trust. And the same system can be adopted. Few companies can gather together and create a trust. Trust is a misnomer. It's a Section 25 company. Nothing turns on that. But it is nomenclature is trust. Lord, but one fact, my Lord, inadvertently, my Lord, we admit that the moment the question of disclosure of the donor, come, donor comes, the scheme fails. As, my Lord, it failed in trust. Because that is the disincentive, my Lord. The incentivizing factor for the purpose of paying by cash is Lord, secrecy, the confidentiality. Secrecy and anonymity is a negative connotation. I am using the expression confidentiality. Lord, can you, Lord, uh, Lord, what I am submitting is that Honorable Finance Minister is also saying that we have started a process, may not be a foolproof process. Some element of transparency would be introduced in as much as all donors declare in their account the amount of bonds that they have purchased and all parties declare the quantum of bonds. How much each donor has distributed to a political party would be known only to the donor. This is necessary because once this disclosure is made, past experience has shown donors would not find the scheme attractive and would go back to less desirable option of donating by cash. Look, this is the experienced view of the lawmakers. That if this confidentiality is not ensured, people go to the earlier regime. In fact, the choice has now to be consciously made between the existing system of substantial cash donations, which involves total unclean money and is non-transparent, and the new scheme which gives the option to the donors to donate through entirely a transparent method of check, online transaction, or through electoral bonds. But it is, if I want to disclose my identity, I can pay by check. It's not taken away. I don't have to go through this Lord, uh, electoral bond scheme. I can still pay by RTGS, direct banking transfer, or through check. But then my identity would be disclosed. If I wish that to remain confidential, then electoral bond. But Lord, I have Lord, uh, very seriously and I am bound to consider Lord, the concerns which your lordships have shown as custodian of uh, fundamental rights of the citizens. And Lord, the government is proud about it, that your lordships are concerned. And my Lord, we have some, I have some solutions my Lord, to offer so that that concern also can be addressed. And your lordships would find the bona fides of the government that we really do not want to know who has donated whom, what amount. Let the confidentiality remain complete except under the court order. I, I, I'll say, my lord, uh, as and when, my lord, that a part of the scheme comes. 